shape and then you get a fancy one on your neck or on your wrist. We're almost done, we're almost done. This could be a look. Some love and affection. Some people don't make no dang sense. I to wait for these freaking gremlins. Hey guys, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I look a hot mess. This is usually not how I look. I just woke up from a long night. I just don't mind the face. I wiped off some mascara last night and I didn't use some water. So it's like literally still under my eyes, which is making me look even worse. But we're just going to get this done with. And I'm going to take this out then hop back on camera to show you how I'm going to redo them. And let's see how everything goes. Oh, yeah, okay. I know. I said I wasn't coming back on camera. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing because the method that I'm going to show you guys in the next video, I look disgusting. It's irking me. It's really irking me. Ew. Is I literally am only about seven minutes in and I've, on, I've almost got my whole side done. I wanted to show you guys what I'm about to do. So when I'm actually doing it, like actually redoing my hair, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. So I find the knot where I did it at. And you can see my hair is right here and I twist it and I unravel it and I try to find that that rubber band because where that knot is is where a rubber band is it's right here and once I just start twisting 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 I find I go like this cut right here because this is not my hair you don't want to cut too close to your hair because you don't want to cut your hair I did that once and look what happened yeah this, that wasn't this time, it was my first time doing it, but still, you know, we live and we learn, right? You guys can see it, the rubber band is literally right there, right here. And all I do is just get it, and I pull out the soft lock, which I've already cut half of it, and then I get this rubber band right here, and I just pull it out right there, and then this is the passion twist. And I literally just go like this. And that is literally it. And that is less than 30 seconds. Hey guys, I'm back. Clean, fresh. It is 1.53. I just got out of the shower. I finished around 1.40. No, 134. And I started at 12.05 or 12.10. It was around that time. And this is gonna be my ghetto setup. I have my, our chair, our lounge chair from the kitchen. And then, yeah, until I get my mirror for Christmas, babe. That was such an ugly face. But I, oh, I forgot. And I like bring it up, like all the way. Oh, it's a dirty, dang, I forgot the Windex in the car. Forget it. And I'm literally gonna like crouch it out where I can see it, but I need a towel. There's one on my head, but I'm not gonna use that. To this, I'm just gonna let you guys play, have some music going. I am so naked, I have no jewelry on. I didn't do my eyebrows, I didn't do my lashes. But who cares? discounted hotels and rental cars and anything you might need on vacation that you can use at later one. Once I found out that 
people were charging like freaking thousands, not thousands, but hun oh, thousands, hundreds of dollars just to get um, soft locks done. I was like, who? Not me. So I literally started watching YouTubes, YouTube videos, and I was like, I'm gonna learn to do this myself. I literally embedded it into my head. I said, we're gonna learn. We're not gonna take no for an answer. We got this. And that's just that because I was very determined to do soft locks and do a cute style that I actually really liked and I can do it in a day. Okay, so we're done partying. Um, as you guys can see, I did kind of like medium small parts on top and then in the back some. To a certain point, I was doing them even. And then towards like right here, like this patch, I just said forget it. Because you're not going to really be able to see it once my hair's on it anyways. And this is definitely going to be a lot lighter of a hairstyle. So we're just going to get to it. And I might tell who I look. Easy. I might talk in between it. I might not. But we. I. Don't, I really don't know what I'm gonna do until I edit. To be honest. So every single box braid has two. Um. What's we call it? Two rubber bands in them. So I'm just gonna go in between the rubber bands. Grab the crochet, lock it, bring it in between, take it out, open it up just a little bit. Don't take it all out. Grab your hair and grab the braid and go just like that and pull the braid, pull the soft lock or whatever you're doing down and literally just tug on it. And you're not yanking your hair, you're just tugging it like this. And then it's just like that and you see how the knot's not that big and you can always just push it down. And I always go like this just to close it a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do, grab the crochet needle again and grab it, but put it on top of the first rubber band that you did. So there's one and then there's two on the first one. Right above that, you grab your crochet needle, put it through. And then I'm gonna grab some hair some passion twist to be specific and i always cut it to a certain length because i don't need the whole thing so i just cut it like halfway and then i just fluff it out be gentle because that junk actually rubs your hands and it hurts <laughs> Grab it just like this and two. But like this, where, I'm like, where the heck is the thing? It's right in my hair. And then I put it right in it again. Ah, shoot. Lock it, bring it through. And only pull one of them through. Only pull one of the ends of the passion twist. And I pull it all the way this way. And then I'm literally gonna grab all of it. And then I bring it up. And I do it about four or five times over. So I'm on my second, three, four. Make sure you don't get any of your other hair in the way. And then I start making my way down once I already got a good enough wrap around. And make sure you're covering your hair and the lock.
What tickets? What tickets? Snowboard. Snowboard tickets? Cuban link bigger than the Wu Tang. Cuban link you got. I don't see one on your neck or on your wrist. Yep. My Cuban link bigger than the Wu Tang. Too. Great talk. Who? A New York strip of steak with a loaded mashed potato. Loaded mashed potato. I had to go to the store and get stuff. Huh? Huh? My mama called me. She always called me and you never answer. So I had to go back to the store because I had this much left and I didn't have enough. Um, Passion Twist or the softbox. So, yeah, we're here right now and we're finishing up. I'm low key tired and I'm freaking starving. So, I just want to get this done so we can do it now. But I'm excited because, like, wow. And it's not even heavy. So, I'm very much proud of myself. <laughs> I just gave birth. I am under a lot of stress. It's getting older. I started taking Nutrafol. It's natural and it's clinically effective. Slightest movement, or just it wanted to tilt, oh. it would have broke and it would have shattered. That's See, that. that's what I was trying to say. That's that's so super dead. I just on the up top yesterday. I never get what I want. Alright, what you want? Some love and affection. We're almost done. We're almost done. This could be a look. Like have your hair out and in some areas and just have the rest out. But we are dang near there. Literally, we have probably what one more row after this, and then we are done. And not even a full row, like four or five on them. Oh, dang. See, it's like every time I get on recording, I mess up. Uh, I only have three more. My back hurts. How's are you guys ready for Christmas? Because Christmas is literally in, I think, less than 17 days. And I'm shocked, beyond shocked, of how fast it's coming. Because honestly, it's like, wait a minute. We just had um, Thanksgiving. We just had Halloween. And now we're already dang near in 2022. It's like... And I'm not going into this year thinking, oh, yeah, we're, I used to go into my years thinking like, oh, I'm going to try not to mess up and everything. And then like by the second week of January, I'm already screwed. And I'm just like, dang, I'm a failure or whatever. And I used to think that when I was younger. Now I'm just like, we're going to write down goals. We're going to write down um, manifestations. And we're just going to write down things that we want to do for myself and for my family and get to places. Because like I started thinking, I'm like, and I think a lot about my future. And I was like, wait, 
this one job is not gonna get me where I wanna get. I mean, when I'm there, sometimes I draw whatever and people see my paintings and my drawings and they're like, oh, and that's how I get some of my clients for my art. But it's like, I don't know, I feel like God has everybody in a place at a certain time and I just felt really lazy just working one job. So I'm like, okay, give me a second job. So I got me a second job and now I feel like on my grind. Like I feel like I'm like top tier. I was turning off my speaker. Like I just feel like I'm like on top of the world right now. Like I love it. Anywho, I don't even know how I got to that conversation. See what I mean when I just like go off the dome? Like I literally am so random. But if you've been with me, you know. You know my channels. You know how I jump from one thing to another. That's just never going to stop. We might not ever get back to the conversation. That's just me. That's just who I am. And then later on, like throughout the end of the video, I get to where I was in the beginning. It's like, oh, and it's like it just magically pops back in my head. And it's like, oh, and we just started off like as if we never ended it. I don't know. Let's just say that's a trinity for you. Next, my video that I'm working on right now actually is some editing and some things that I have to fix. But I think I finally got a preset that I edited to the color scheme. And I'm just like, oh, I think I did pretty good on it. Because you guys know I use my phone. I don't use a camera. So I'm taking baby steps of like learning the editing skills and everything. So it's like when I see myself like with progress and my boyfriend look at me, he's like, babe, you're doing good. I'm just like, thank you. Like I've been trying. It's like I grew up not really liking technology, only really liking phones. But like when teachers would be like, oh, we're going to the computer. I'm just like, oh my God. like I would dread being on the computer. Like or when we had to do essays and we had to do them on the computer. I'm like, bro. And then it's like the fact that I could type. But imagine the people that couldn't type. It's like you want us to do an essay in a certain amount of time and then you want it to be good. And you're giving us a time limit plus on a digital. Some people don't make no dang sense. I don't know. It's like, how can you time something that you want perfectly done? Like you think people do novels in a certain amount of time and be like, oh yeah, it's done. No, they have to rewrite, reread thousands of and hundreds and thousands of times to make sure it's right. And then you guys want to give these little kids that are dang near and don't even know life yet speaking from experience and give them a time limit and stress them the hell out. And then you wonder why these kids are not passing or have gray hair already because it's freaking stupid school board. I'm glad I ain't in school no more, college or anything like that. Sorry, it was a waste of my time. I mean, I learned stuff, but you learn more of like the cheating and just getting by in high school. It's like you just want to pass. It's not even, you don't even learn anymore. It's like after a certain year, it's like you don't even learn anymore. You just literally just do it to get by. And that's sad. That's really sad. But we graduated it. Cheated half of it, but it's all right. I think I started cheating. Not that y'all should know this, but I think I started cheating like it started in math because it hit a certain point where we would have a certain time limit on like the curriculum that we were learning. So we had to do such and such. So say if we had geometry, right, it would be a certain part of geometry and we would have a week to learn that and then move on. So it's like you're basically teaching yourself. Then you have also seven periods. And then they want it by the next day or something like that. And then you're trying to learn that curriculum. And then you're trying to move forward. It's like, you want me to learn that curriculum in a week. Like, top notch. Then do a quiz. If I fail the quiz, then it's like, no. At this point, this was when people were going behind desks, taking screenshots, taking pictures of the teacher's thing whenever they would walk by the door. Or go by so, yeah. And they would literally just go, and I'm like, guys, don't do that. They're like, Trinity. And I would be like the mom of the group. I'm like, don't do that. Da -da -da -da, that's not right. We could just try or whatever. And there's, they said, okay, why well, don't take a picture just in case? And then, and throughout the, um, <laughs> we had our phones. We were supposed to put our phones in the basket. And they turned around. They said, you're struggling yet? I said, send me the freaking answers. And they're like, mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh. it was crazy. 
Because that junk was a struggle. Like, that was real deal. That's, like, where we real deal learn how to cheat. Like, people cheated in relationships. People cheated in um, school. People cheat, um, skipped in class. I know I surely did. I skipped in class my entire ninth grade year for boys, for stupid boys that did me no good but caused insecurities in myself. Ugh, freaking stupid. If you guys are falling in love or think you're in love in high school, please, 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 please think twice. Listen, I wish and I wish I would have listened to my mother and be like, wait till you're 18 today. That was my mom's rule. Wait till you're 18 today. And I'm like, why, mom? Why? She's like, you'll understand. And then I think when I was 17, I said, I want my boy, I want a boyfriend. And I started talking to her about liking or whatever. And I just was like, oh, he's cute. Blah, 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 you know? And my mom's like, no, Trinity, no. And then it got to a certain point where she was like, you know what? You'll understand when you're 18. When you, from a year from now, you're going to be so different and you're, you're going to know. And I'm just like, whatever. And I would just brush it off. And then once I, I, I think it was last year, I realized I'm like, wow. I, I just look back at that. I'm like, wow, like I really am different. And then um thinking about it i'm like man i should have listened to her when she said boys are no good for you focus on school because as soon as you get in a relationship in high school you start daydreaming about them you start waiting for class to be over just so you'll see them between their periods and then it hits you when you're dang near done with school and you're freaking like bro why in the world was I missing out on school and such good academics and stuff like that to wait for these freaking gremlins to get out of class? And then you're heartbroken, you have insecurities, then you break up, then you're going through a traumatizing stage, then you go through depression. Some people go through depression or they just start hoeing around and braids twists and locks supreme performance moisturizing sculpting foam, foam wrap lotion oh it said zox on there she don't put this through the whole thing not completely straight but that's it that's how it looks not jumbly or boxed at the top. And yeah, that's how I did it this time. I'm about to put this up a little bit. And it is a little stiff just because, like not my, um, not this part, but like the locks itself, just because it takes time to, you know, bunch into them. But I'm gonna wash my face and get chilling today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long or boring or anything like that. But if you guys do like my videos, go ahead and watch me on my other videos because you'll love me. Believe me on that. Bye guys. I love you guys and God bless yourself.